So I was having this talk with Saudi too, is that like, literally like we could fucking like whatever you twenty. Well, I'm 25. You're 24. Oh, it's that weird in the middle time oh, no. where you're 24. I'm Dude, older than you. You're a whole year older than you. What the yeah, fuck? Yeah, a whole year older than you for 20 days. Dude, that's you're fucking old, dude. Yeah. <laughs> there's quarter century. That's so, take that in. So that, oh yeah. So that's that's basically what we were talking about. I was talking to Saudi about like, um, like we could literally like let's say you're 25 too. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Don't don't, don't 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 coop me up with you, old people. <laughs> 24. We can do this for the next 10 years and still be younger than... No, no, I, I would, no, not even that. I would, we could do nothing. We could do no, We could sit on an ass for the next five years and we're literally only 30. 29. <laughs> You're 29, I'm 30. You're 30, yeah. Yeah, yeah sorry. Yeah. Like, for the next five years, we could do fucking nothing mm-hmm. and we're not even, like, 40, right? And, like, from there, like, even, even pessimistically, if we die at, like, 60... That's still like thirty years. We only have yeah. more like time that we have, <laughs> pessimistically. Yeah. Barring any tragic like, I fucking decide to kill you because I don't like you anymore. Yeah. Kind of shit. And cook right? great in and eat him. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. We'll, we'll live longer. Yeah. So. yeah. Um, but uh. But yeah, the only time. thing that the only thing that's that's like, stopping, or like. I don't know, that's, like, bad or whatever. Like, I guess not stop. Like, the only thing that's, that's like, pressure or, like, makes you feel like you need to do something else or, like, get a job or whatever is that, like, everybody feels, like, 30s old and you should have figured it out by fucking 23 or whatever, like, once you graduated from university or whatever, right? It's, like, Saudi's getting this right now where his friends were, like, yo, you're wasting time, like, you should just go to school. And it's, like, bro, he's fucking 20. Like, what the... Like, Realistically, you can go to school whenever the fuck you want to go to school. It doesn't like you can always go to school. You can always get a minimum pay- wage job. You can fucking do it, right? It's just that society is gonna be like, oh, like like it's like us. Like if we were still doing this, like if we were still uh, at Sports Central working when we were like thirty five, everybody would be like, oh, you're still like working at Sports Central and you're fucking thirty five. Like you're just gonna you're just gonna do that. But it's like. If you're happy, like, if it's but it's a bunch of things. It's just like it's not your like it's my fucking life. Like that could have made sense in that point in time in your life, right? Like this makes sense right now for us is that we could fucking work. Like if we could work, like you're saying, if we could work at Sports Central and do Ding Dag for the rest of our lives until it fucking worked or whatever, or like even if it didn't, like whatever. That's that's a pretty fucking great life, right? Like same thing with like we get to go traveling, we go to Japan every year, yeah, we do all that facts, shit, yeah, like. Yeah. Like, that's a pretty fucking amazing life, right? You get to work on your dreams, work at this job, you don't... It's not a job. <laughs> <laughs> you get paid for doing absolutely nothing. Yeah. yeah, like, it's fucking... That's the dream, right? It's just that society, your friends, and people, and whatever, are gonna be like, oh, you're not gonna get a house and, like, have a family, and da, da, da. And it's like, yeah, but, like, I shouldn't drop names. I'm not gonna drop names, but, like, my buddy got married, like, a couple months ago or whatever, and, then, like, they're getting divorced now. You got married a couple of months ago? Remember that time we watched Power Rangers? Oh, the, when you wear the suit? He's getting, they're getting divorced now because she's a whore. <laughs> she cheated him? Something like that. Oh. I, don't, I don't know the details. Oh, okay. But, um, and also there's people that like, you know, that have kids and all that stuff. I'm not saying that stuff's going to make you unhappy. I'm just saying that like, you got to look at your own life, mm-hmm. right? Like it's all about what you makes you happy. I'm with you. Right? And like, that's why I'm like, maybe this is like this, this, not medium, this like, uh, this balance that you currently have for yourself right now is like, that's, like you're happy with that, right? Like, I'm, I'm actually pretty happy with it right now too, but I mean, and maybe, maybe I don't, like maybe I don't want to like eventually have a studio as much as I think I do, like have a studio where we're like working on this stuff every day, because like, then it might turn from like this happiness to like a it's like serious, grind and stuff yeah. like that like if it's like because seeing doubles getting kind of hard to edit like we're already talking about yeah but i know there is a big part of me that at least wants to try doing like video film stuff because like i actually do like that stuff really fucking motivates me like what i like somehow like i'm really passionate about that shit like when i was doing that music video like i would literally like wake as soon as i wake up i would pull my laptop up and i'm like editing in bed like kind of go making this little edit on the little fucking shitty little mouse pad 
making these little edits because I'm like, oh, this like, and watching and kind of like, does this fit? Like, I really enjoy that shit. You know okay. what I mean? Whereas like seeing double, I don't have that same. You know, I'm like, I'm, I'm kind of like, I'm really like stretching myself, which I'm, I'm not, not that I do a bad job or anything, but I'm really like try. It takes a lot out of me to like think of something funny and then I make a GIF and then I go into Photoshop and then I make a Photoshop thing and then I whatever and then I make a zoom in and then like it takes a lot of like it's fun I see the fun in it and it is fun for me but n- nowhere near the amount of time that it takes like it doesn't justify it um, so but anyway that's that's just like talking about like whether this is like what I want in my life like right now I think I am pretty happy with like the balance that I have with like my work and like whatever but also you feel like I kind of wish I, I kind of wish I had some more free time I guess maybe I feel like you spend a lot of your free time napping I do yeah, yeah I do like napping and playing fucking I, I kind of wish I, I like watch I wish I Demon, watched Dark more Dark Souls I, yeah I've stopped playing Dark well I, actually no I'm trying to play Dark Souls 1 right now but I wish uh, I had more time to like watch anime like, you remember when I feel like everybody has like an era like anybody that's into anime mm-hmm. is like they have like eras of like at least especially when you're young in like high school and shit or like whatever is like they have time to just, you just have time to binge watch like a whole show or like a bunch of shows or like whatever dude the best thing ever was watching animes in the summertime yeah yeah and yeah. you just and you just like chill there eating popsicles like i was i was here. in grade uh, nine or or the summer of grade eight I think or something like that and that's when I like binge watched all of like I specifically remember this I binge watched all of Bleach that was out at that point because at that point because I, I got to like episode 80 I remember this specifically like 89 or something or 88 and then I'm like on LimeWire trying to like download like 90 <laughs> and I'm like what the f- there's no why isn't there episode 90 and I realized like holy fuck I'm caught up on there's no more episodes of like what am I gonna do with my life like Dude. I would like in the summer of 2011, no, 2009, I binge watched all five uh, up in the, up until that point. There's five seasons of Digimon, all five seasons. Jesus. Metabots and Shaman King. Metabots. Dude, more power, more power. I love Metabots. Dude, I fucking binge watch fucking seven shows. Oh, sorry, each season of Digimon is like a different yeah yeah, yeah. group. So no, I know. Yeah, so I know. seven. I know Digimon. Yeah, man. So seven shows. Anyways, back to this. Thing, like on that off tangent um yeah no uh dude we're gonna be fucking living for a long fucking time and people forget that i forget that sometimes right. and i feel like like maybe even you just need a reminder sometimes it's just like we're young as fuck like you're a little bit older now <laughs> you're 25 but well, like, you're older than you bro yeah you're a fucking year older than me so i'm like a baby in your eyes now but yeah like, like 24 in five I'm years wiser than you little yeah. bro <laughs> it's true it's true in five years, maybe you know, slightly taller than me, <laughs> but I was born twenty-three days old. A year there. before me, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna be, you know, five years from now, you're gonna be in your dirty thirties. I'm gonna be twenty-nine, like a respectable person. And uh, now we're still gonna be working on this. Like, like my dream. I just find gonna... it like hilarious how, like, like no offense, Dad, but like when he was like when I was like seventeen or whatever, like in grade twelve, mm-hmm. and then he was like you don't know what you're going to do with your life or like you don't know what, what you're like you don't have a plan and then I started freaking out too what are you doing? I'm going to sit up here oh you're going to sit up there yeah. oh you want to be in the scene yeah because yeah, yeah. now we're changing the dynamics of the audio <coughs> come 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 closer we should like come closer we should like put this no no just come just, just come wait just, just come why are you so Brad set up the for those listening on just the audio well Brad, that audio we're going to use on Brad the set up the ca- yeah but we don't have the audio for all of or the video for all of this audio. Yeah, we do. I started the video after we started the audio. That's what I mean, is we don't have all the video for the, all the audio. Oh, we'll just, like, I, we, like but then, anyway. Anyways. Yeah, because we're going to have a podcast version, so they need to know what's... Anyway, uh, what the uh, fuck uh, are we talking about? So there's a video and the audio and the audio and the video. Um, you said something, Brad. Like, Brad. Oh, no. I'm talking about my dad. I shouldn't do that. Though. Pete. Um, mm-hmm. He was like, oh, like, you don't have a plan. Like, at 17, in grade 12, he was like, you don't have, like, a plan? Like, you don't know... And I'm like... And that made me freak out. But like hindsight is like, dude, I was fucking 17. Like how the fuck? So when, I, when I'm 17, I'm supposed to figure out the next like 50 years of my life. I'm supposed to have it fi- all done, figured it out by 17. I was supposed to know all the next 30, 50 years of my the, life. The best part about that, up until 13, you don't know anything. Like you don't even, yeah, like, like, you haven't even jerked yeah, it. Yeah, like yet. you're not even a real, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you haven't even jerked it by 13. So how for, am I supposed to know what so I'm doing? So in four years, you're supposed to figure out 70 years. Of course, yeah, like, like, what the f- 
<laughs> How was I? You know what I'm saying? It's just it's just ridiculous. Like that, and that's why like it's kind of. And I'm not like trying to shit on people that are like that want that stuff by thirty and stuff like that. But it's kind of like the age doesn't mean anything. You know what I mean? Like the age is an arbitrary thing. The age is literally just society and whoever else, your friends and your family, that say that 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 are starting. Like maybe they don't say it explicitly, but they're all like, "Oh, you're getting kind of old." You know, like you're not gonna whatever. And it's like, like it doesn't fucking matter. Like, like the time, like being thirty doesn't mean anything really at all like that's that's just that's just i don't know humans keeping track of time like i don't know it doesn't fucking matter you know what i mean like if you haven't figured out by then like fucking more power to you, more power to you I, but i i don't really know anybody that does you know what i mean like i don't really i don't think i know anybody that has it all figured out like i don't think you know? i don't think anyone can ever really have it all figured out though like I think well i mean at least to the point of gary vaderchuk yeah know, at, least, at least to that point where but even he but like, even he has something but to he get. but he was he was a an anomaly in that like very very early on mm-hmm. he found himself as like i'm a hustler like i'm fucking selling so much i'm making so much money off just being like he he remembers too like he always told, i'm like maybe he's i don't know i doubt he's lying but like even when he was like a young kid he like would pull out people's flowers from their lawn and like sell them their flowers or like go wash people's cars and like he had a lemonade stand this is his classic story of he had lemonade stands you know what i mean so like at a very early whether he's lying or not the point is he he knows who he is like this is the kind of person he's he's a hustler right like he loves to, like hustler in terms literally in terms of selling stuff not like a hard worker that too he's sure he's that too but i mean like he's he's a businessman like he likes to sell things that that was who he was Mm-hmm. Right, and then he got really good at that, and then now he's teaching other people how to sell things. Um, so, I mean, it took me like, and that's I think that's just super rare to like know who you are, what you're good at, at least in terms of like, sort of like career related or like your strengths. Like, it's very hard to like figure that out very early. I think, um, and like just really focus in on those strengths. And like, even if you figure out your strengths, sometimes it's hard to like translate that into like, what am I gonna do with my life? with that right like let's say i'm good at like playing Yu-Gi-Oh. like how am i gonna like figure out like am i gonna be a pro Yu-Gi-Oh player or whatever like you know it's like certain things it's like it's even if you find your strengths it's, it's more difficult to find out like what am i gonna fucking do with my strengths right? yeah, um so i think like he's very lucky in that and that's why i'm saying like i don't think many people have it figured out to that point um by like even 30 40 right a lot of people just force it because they're pressured by society to like do all this shit right so they're like oh fuck i need to get a job that's gonna pay for my family and a mortgage and so i'll just so like so instead of like figuring themselves out more like kind of like let's say they're at they're let's say they're us and they're working at this this chill job at the gym but they're getting 30 now and they're like oh fuck someone offers them a job for like they get 30 bucks an hour but the job's pretty shit they'll take it because it's like, oh, I'm getting kind of old now mm-hmm. and I should take this job that pays me more money so that I can work up and then and then. But it's like their life probably isn't that like enjoyable, I would argue, just because their job would probably suck. Because like usually the more pay in these standard jobs of like whatever is like the more pay, the more stress, the more time, the more like exhausting you, exhausted you are, right? Yeah. Like we're minimum wage, but like I have like, I can do whatever the fuck I want. Like I have pretty, like a lot of energy to like, do stuff outside of this but again it's like society your friends and family or whatever are gonna like pressure you to like you know take that job when you're at 30 or whatever just because they you, you feel like you're getting old um but again there's nothing wrong with wanting that shit right there's nothing wrong with wanting a family and wanting all that stuff but like i don't know man there's there's no rush like there's like 30 is not old like 30 like 30 you're like just you're like a toddler of adulthood yeah right like right now like like me and brad at like 24 and 25 we're like we're like just born we're like like newborn adults yeah you know what i mean like we just stepped into adulthood Mm -hmm. and it's just so and it's just so early right Mm -hmm. um and so anyway going back to like uh like going at this rate and not making it if we go at this rate that's the thing like i was saying like that's why i preface it by saying like between now and the end of our lives a lot of things are going to change right so i'm not like that's why i'm not so worried about it it's just that 
it is something that weighs on my mind. It's like, like I guess it's almost just, it, it might even just be because like, it's like the unknown where I'm kind of thinking like, well, I don't know what, what's going to happen. Like, like either we are going to like, like I was saying, like, that's what I keep saying is like, the way I see it going is we have that realization that I already said is that like, yeah, if we keep doing this, like we probably like the chances of us making it are just really slim. And then we just, and then at that point, then we decide to kick it into gear. And then every day we're like, no, we got to fucking keep, keep grinding and keep doing all the things that we can. Right. Like, like I was saying, the guy that plays whatever soccer or whatever, he's like, no, I'm going to, I'm going to do, I'm going to do the sprints and I'm going to do all the things. You know what I mean? Like he's, he's the one that's training fucking every fucking day just because he wants, like he wants to win that badly. Mm -hmm. Um, But I just don't think we've had that like, kick in the butt yet or like that whatever to make us like go that hard like i'm i'm there like mentally but like that that doesn't mean anything because i'm not like every minute that i have i'm not working as hard as i could be um but you're I don't in know. the same boat with everyone else yeah, yeah i just i just think that like i have i i think i have the like mentality down but like the actual execution of doing it sometimes I'm, i I slack on which obviously again if it doesn't actualize into any actual like doing stuff it doesn't yeah. matter ideas are shit execution is everything i like how I, I used to say that but now i never say it and now you just say it is <laughs> it yeah. no i just i just rat only... what oh you're supposed to say the thing say the thing ideas are shit execution is everything Yay. <laughs> Um, so now when I want to say it, I'll just make you say it. Oh, just go, Brad. Uh, no, no, no. I thought you. Were, I thought you wanted me to say bank account. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Do you want to say bank account? Yeah, I do. So. Bank account. <laughs> <laughs> That's for you, Zach. Yeah. And um, Gary. Imagine if Gary V watched the video and he's like, "Good job, Kurt." I I was on the uh, no I, I tried to get on the Gary V show today the Ask Gary V show because he did it live and then. I put my comment in and there was only like 60 comments in so I was like oh I thought I would because I have a pretty good question and then by the time he started asking a question there was like a thousand comments and I'm like oh this fucking and then I tried to like look at the phone because they call you because you put your number there and then they call you so I was like trying to watch the phone is like seven no no seven seven no damn it like, like is he calling my number and then but no I didn't get on the show but one day one day you'll be featured on the show yeah one day you'll be a guest on the show. Oh yeah. Funny. Yeah, it'd be like, how did you how did you make it? I'll be like, I just sucked your dick really hard. <laughs> yeah, but one day you'd be like he's gonna be like, How did you make it? How how hard did you hustle? And you'd be like, Listen, all I did was open a couple of bank accounts. <laughs> I See, aged a couple jokes. of jokes. Nobody understands these jokes. Yeah, it's true. But that's okay. Um right, if you had a if you had an album for inside jokes, what would the track list be? <laughs> No, nah, I'm done, I'm done. Well, we'll do that one for us, because that's funny for us, because then we'll just run through all the inside jokes that we made. But, um, yeah. Hey, Kurt. Bank account? No. I, no, you say it. That's no, what you say. You say that now. No, but, but in all honesty, um, we, got, we got time. We just got to kick it into high gear. Eventually, like, I, I feel like the more and more we do it, the easier it will become, like the more skills we learn and... It's just going to be about consistency. And I mean, so kind of like you said that earlier, we could talk about that, is that um, the best way to have more content is to have more people, which is like, it's not, you're not wrong, but it's also like... We could be doing a lot more. I know, I know. Yeah, it's, yeah. Like, it's like a mentality thing. No, no, and, 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 so, and like, I wasn't like saying, I was saying, and I wasn't saying that like, oh no, like we're fucking maxed out, we can't do anymore. No, no, we could definitely do more, but like, like another way of getting more content while we're learning to because that could I, I would say that could also backfire as well right where it's kind of like oh well like you do like he's already doing that so i can kind of like subconsciously or consciously you you can kind of like slack a little bit because it's like well he's making stuff so then the and then the net result is like we make about the same do you know what i mean like yeah, but, that can backfire but do you well. know, like, like, like the um, whole point like i said is is the mentality is like fucking just make as much right, as you yeah. can and just fucking but just I, keep going, I, as right? we as we learn to better utilize our time and manage it properly and like you know like get, get better at this. well that's the thing is like it's not even like a managing thing or organizational thing which For me, like totally time it's, it's, it's not though like it's like it, it can be like it can help i think but also like i know like i know there's people that are just so haphazardly adhd or whatever but their mind's in it though so like all the things they're doing it's like whether whether he has like five things like if he's if he let's say there's a guy that's like 80 i think about salil sometimes but um there's a guy that's like adhd 
and he's like about off the walls, he's not organized at all, and he's just going between project to project, doing all these different things. But like eventually at the end he has like all these projects that are like pretty he, he's done a decent amount of work on them, but like it's just the the way he the way he happens to work is just haphazard and not organized at all mm. and it's just kind of all over the place. Yeah. Um but again, that that just goes back to like he wants to hustle and he wants to finish it. And he wants to like do all these things, okay. and that's like it or like organized or not like like whatever. Like you can do it either way if you just have the mentality to like the winning mentality of like we're just gonna grind. Like I'm gonna do as much as I can. Like I want to do this. I want to do that. Like I want to win, right? Like I want to do it. Like like you you can like you can actually do it, like whether you're organized or not. I think and like and actually like and arguably a lot of people like might enjoy the way content's produced unorganized too right just because like then other people that are unorganized would be attracted to that type of content production too because they'd be like oh he's somehow it would kind of fit you know like the amount of like similarities between humans would be it's actually like stunning you, you know what i mean like when you do something the way you do it like i'm sure there's like a million other people that do it the same way that you do it just because you know so they would relate to like your haphazardness or whatever mm -hmm. but the only way to like get shit done is to have like get shit done and get shit done right and get enough shit done and blah 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 is to have that mentality of like yeah like let's, let's do it. keep doing it like keep doing stuff because i want to win like, keep, like take another shot take another shot take another shot like right like just keep trying to work on that shot right like or like keep working on that three-pointer just keep working on that three-pointer just keep shooting threes right it doesn't really take like there's like there are like you know that's I feel like sports are just such a great analogy, right? Because you can have like a trainer that has that gives you like a program that's like, okay, we're gonna do these sprints and then we're gonna do this thing and that's like, organized. But I mean, there's a lot of guys that get better by just doing all the like he's gonna he's like guys that just go to the field and just practice with the ball for a while because and they but they just know what they're practicing. I was like, oh, I'm gonna run really hard and then I'm gonna practice shooting and then that but they do all of it and like you can get better that way too and it's not that organized but like you can still do it. But anyway, that's just me talking about mentality over everything else. Um, the winning attitude. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, like, I guess I am like worried sometimes about that stuff. I don't know. But like, if, you're, I, if you weren't worried, I'd be. I would be worried. Like, but, like you know, being worried is good. I guess so. But and, and I'm also too hard on myself too when I don't do stuff. I think because it's like more about just like moving forward than it is about dwelling on like oh i could have done this or could have done that like another thing that i think we could talk about too is that for example like saudi stuff our stuff as well mm -hmm. uh when there's like an episode that uh isn't very good or like uh we'll just say that isn't very good for for any reason it's kind of like do the best you can and then pump it out or don't pump it out and then just move on to the next thing you know what I mean? It's kind of like don't dwell on failures type of thing. Um, so like with with the Game of Thrones off, it's like I mean worst like worst case is like it's it's and this isn't even working. Okay, okay, worst case is we don't put it out at all. But like it's there's it's not so bad to just like oh well we'll just put up thirty minutes like a thirty minute video and it's kind of lame and like whatever. But at least it's done. Or don't put it out at all. Or try to do your best to cut it down. But like. If it gets too whatever, like too difficult and too time consuming, then like then don't worry about it. Like yeah. like just kind of do do the best you can and then put it out, and then at like what the value in that is is that it's it's a learning experience, right? Like it's now he knows that next time we do something like that, like a quiz, whatever he did, um, that what what are the problems that we ran into doing that? Mm -hmm. So like what was it like a quiz thing? We were doing yeah. like a Game of Thrones quiz, a Game of Thrones Study, off quiz. Yeah. So like, is like maybe make the question shorter, have it more organized. Know what maybe, you're talking about. Yeah, maybe names. know what you're talking about. Yeah. Um, and just kind of realize, like, you know, like you, if, if you want these to be shorter videos, then you, I, you have to be really organized and like, or just literally just shoot, like have a format where you're shooting for like, like 20 minutes or mm -hmm. half an hour so that you can cut it down to 10. Right, and like keep an eye on the camera knowing that, because that one probably went for like, 40 minutes an hour yeah. and then he said the, the he said the uh, challenge was like 10 minutes too mm -hmm. so just being wary of time but anyway it's just, it's just a learning experience if something doesn't go wrong and this is why um our favorite guy gary always talks about losing is like he loves losing because it's like you can learn uh, so much from losing mm -hmm. right if you win you're like oh fuck, whatever right but like if you lose if you're not getting the results you want 
there's so much to like learn from there and like try to figure out why it's like it's like almost getting a puzzle right it's like how why how would i make myself win next time what went wrong in this and it's like puzzle solving right it's like problem solving of like how am i going to make this work next time right like or what are the things that we could fix and do better or whatever um yeah i don't know i still think i don't know that we need a lot of work with all our stuff but that's just me i i agree i think i think most of us agree um that our stuff just isn't good enough yet uh, i think we'll get there I know we'll get there. Well, you think our stuff's good enough already. No, I think our stuff is good. I never said it's good enough. There's always room to improve. Always... At no point was I like, our shit's fucking amazing. I even told you, like, it, it, it deserves a couple hundred. Not thousands, not tens of thousands, not hundreds of thousands. A couple, a few hundred views. But what, what, like, what is it at? Like, nothing. And that's, and that's not because our shit's not funny. It's not the funniest. It could be funnier. We have a long way to go till we perfect it or, you know, get close to, like, what we think is like fucking hilarious but don't like you can't tell me that you like you don't find that shit fun again I don't know I find it fucking fun. yeah that shit's okay yeah yeah it's not yeah it's not it's not I'm not saying it's shit or anything I'm not saying it's bad I just think we have a long way to go it's kind of like I don't know we got a long way to go I guess it's like I'm, I'm, I'm worried about am I I don't know I was gonna say I was worried about complacency a little bit or like but that's not really what I might mean, I guess. I don't know. I'm worried about that, that, like, yeah, like, we think our shit's, like, good enough. And then there's, like, we don't focus so much on... Getting better? Getting better, yeah, I, I know. guess. You know? And that's, and that's why... I, like, or, like, again, or, like, the worst thing is, like, we blame the market. Mm-hmm. You know? You can't blame the market. The market does what it wants. No, but, no, but, uh, like, that's why it's good to have these reflections or what, like these talks mm-hmm. it's to reflect on like all our fucking shortcomings and how we can better ourselves on them so and like what do you what do you think we so, could improve on with seeing double so what we talked about today was um, focus more on the game okay but like what, how do you actually feel though about these like how do you actually feel about seeing double right now and like how so like I, how like how good are we how can we improve what are some things that you that's like, the thing, like, all, like, like I'm not like that's what I mean is like I don't want you to like re say the things that I said. I just mm-hmm. want to know what you actually personally feel. I think I think seeing double is funny. I think that I think that there is a lot of potential. I think that you know you might you and Guj and whatever I'm, I'm, I don't give a shit about what anyone else thinks. Like, no, what no, no. do you actually think yourself? I I'd I'd come to that. Come to me, just, can just give me a second. Uh oh. Uh oh. Um, what about me and Goosh? Yeah. What are you saying about yeah. me and Goosh? You know what, man? Fuck you and Goosh. <laughs> and your opinions. No. Um, but, like, you guys have your opinions. And you guys have stated them many times. Or Goosh once, but you many times. But I think I completely disagree with you on, like, how funny we are on a scale. I think that, yeah, it's a little bit jarring. And, yeah, you know, our fucking, we reuse a lot of shit. And so what? Like, like there's... There's tons of people that reuse shit. Like, like we, we, we have to get better at not doing that and coming up with new material every time. That's gonna come. That's gonna come with time. Like when you look back at our first episode, and how fucking absolute, like utterly, fucking all over the place it was, and it didn't make sense, and we we're super uncomfortable. And how far we've come now, and we've what filmed t- twenty episodes, and like that's that just scratching the surface. What are we doing this for? Like four or five months? Like years down from now? Like if we keep working on it. I think that we can fucking do, we can be just absolutely hilarious. And like you, you go like, oh yeah, man, we're funny. Like, we're we're all right. We're pretty. No, I think we're fucking hilarious. Like I think, like, the people that uh, do get it, right? Like, uh, how the fuck am I gonna word this? If we make it more cohesive, and we <laughs> we stop reusing jokes, but even reusing jokes is not even a big thing. Like I like I I feel like you you stated that like you want to just stop like reusing every joke and just come no, up no I said you can reuse a joke as long as it makes sense in the context of that episode by itself mm-hmm. but I we drop a lot of jokes that are just totally like inside jokes like that are like yeah inside jokes from the last like episodes and episodes ago that mm-hmm. just don't like like yeah I went to get milk or like whatever he's still or he's still at the Walmart 
And it's like, it's funny for us because we know that comes from when he said that Sim's dad went to go get milk and he never came back. Yes. But like, nobody, we just said, haha, Walmart. And we're like, yeah. So, okay. That so, was hilarious for us. Okay. We we're having a good time. It's super funny. But like, you know what I mean? Okay. Or like, so or that- like when we, when we come in, someone's like, like I do it too. Like now I'm in the, I'm in, I, I'm at full too, where I'm like, bring your girlfriend. And like. It was, it's hilarious to us and that was funny in that episode but like bringing it up every time it's just so like far removed from that episode okay so that is one of the things that we have to work on is that like like start with the inside jokes start bringing back jokes and create like pretty much fresh material for every episode but that's also a comf- uh, uh, like a comfort thing and also like you know everyone has to be on like, you know everyone has to come with their A game and as we found out with the last Guardian episode when we're fucking feeling like shit, we're absolute shit. What, um, do, you, what do you think about, like, sorry, you, 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 no, no, just, just, just go. Like, what do you think about maybe, not saying we should stop doing it. Take a break? But no, not, like, not even that. I'm just saying, like, what do you think about maybe our strength isn't improv while playing video games? Like, maybe that's not our strength. Do you, do you think it is, maybe? Or do you think. I like, think obviously, like obviously, the more we do it, the better we get. Mm-hmm. But like right now, it, the reason why I'm like a little bit less motivated with it is like it's a mix of a couple things, right? One is, yeah, like I don't know if that's really like for me. It definitely is not my strength. Yeah, I'm I'm like the worst like yeah. we'll, talking yeah. on my feet improv guy. I'm the guy that like I everything like as soon as you hear me talk, you know that I've been thinking for like like yeah. like whole not my whole. I'm you think that. meticulously I've, about everything. I've thought a yeah. long time about what I what I've just said to you. That's why sometimes a lot of people like they're like, "Whoa, like that's that's a lot. That was a lot of ideas there, right?" Because I've taken a long time to think about all those things and then connect them, and then I give it to you in this like like very essay th- very thought of a thought thing. Of. And people usually aren't prepared for that. But anyway, that's just me, right? So like, I'm not very good. So you're pretty bad at improv. I would say that's that. I'm not. I'm not. That's yeah. not your strength at all. No, and yeah. and Sim is he does a lot of that same like he's good he's he's de- he's pretty like I, I mean like he's never really like done a whole episode where he's just talking all the time but he does a lot of the thinking too like he thinks of a joke waits 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 and then delivers at the right time whereas me and zach i think like uh, like when i was editing the episode of just me and zach it's still pretty fucking fun like it's like me and him i think anyways that for me and zach it is it, it does come naturally and like we are like, while playing video games pretty funny um and like I, I kind of get where you're coming from when you were talking about it before. This is like we had another conversation previous, a few weeks ago, where you're like, you know, like you don't know if you want to do this because this is not your like forte. Like you know, it's not something that you. Oh yeah, so that's that's the other thing, right? Is like so that's one, is like our strengths. The other thing that makes me feel a little bit is that like not uneasy, but a little bit less motivated or whatever is that, I just find the amount of like like. Okay, one is the amount of time and like how I feel about doing it. It's not bad. I still enjoy doing it a lot, but we talked about this already is that it takes a lot out of me, I guess. Whereas like, it's like when I make music videos, like when I made that music video, whatever, like I couldn't get enough of it. It was like, I just wanted to keep perfecting it. Like I kept wanting to like, like I loved it. Like I couldn't work enough on it almost. But like seeing Double Sound is like, fuck, like, I finished like three minutes of it and like I had a lot of fun doing those three minutes I'm like but I still have like eight more minutes to go it's like I have to like it takes a lot out of me to like sit there and think about okay there's a joke here and I have to make an edit about it and I have to somehow figure out how I'm gonna make an edit like I could just zoom into his face but I can kind of see like a photoshop but then I try the photoshop and it's like yeah it kind of makes the joke a little funnier but then I don't know if it really is worth the like 20 minutes of me making a photoshop for this one joke and it's kind of like it's a lot like I'm not I don't know if that's something that I want to spend my time doing really. Mm-hmm. So that's that's the second thing. The third thing is I find I found that like us doing uh, like skits at least is the next thing that we've been doing recently is that we all have a lot more fun doing all of the whole process of like thinking of the like writing the script is funny, like super fun and funny. Filming it's hilarious. Um I like shooting it from the camera cuz that's super fun. Yeah. Good night, man. Good night, man. You too. Have safe. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Take it easy, bro. Um, 
yeah, like I like filming them, like shooting them, super fun. Um, uh, and then editing, super fun after too. Like watching us put it together, like you weren't there, but like when we put together the one last night, and then like I guess actually, yeah, you guys weren't you weren't there because I did it by myself. But like editing it is actually pretty fun, cause it, and it's out, it's super fast, it's super simple, and it's like the whole process of it is fun and enjoyable. Like I don't I don't at any point feel like like I seem to like oh fuck how am I gonna like you know what I mean like. I, I mean, I have a few things where I go, oh, we could have shot this a little better, but like, I don't, it's not a big deal, right? Like, we'll get better at that, whatever. Um, and those are easy because we pump them out in like three, four hours and we're done, right? So, I mean, it's just, I see a lot of upside to that relative to like seeing double is getting a little bit like, it's not even that bad though. I, I don't like talking shit about it because I still enjoy it. Like, I still like seeing double and like, I like the idea of it and stuff like that, but I do know sometimes like, it's rough when we're like, it's like we're quiet on the stream and like oh, okay someone someone fucking think of something you know what i mean um yeah like i, I again you can tell like zach even has that sometimes too like where we're kind of like ah oh, okay <sighs> okay 10 more minutes 10 more minutes 10 more minutes we're gonna, okay okay let's say something okay so back of the screen, right like, back, come on back, back. 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 Nah, nah, nah. Okay. now we're talking about dicks and nah, nah, nah. you know like it's sometimes it's, it is a little like yeah. exhausting to film because it's like 30 minutes of like forceful improv right like you're forced in you know what i mean like and like it just takes a lot out of, of us sometimes or like oh, you know what i mean but so a lot of episodes like some are better than others like i think like and i think part of it i think we actually have to like get better at being more relaxed mm -hmm. i think too because i noticed that you and zach this is just i don't know if this is actually how it is but i do feel like you and zach feel a lot of pressure to like and not that you don't enjoy it it's so mm -hmm. fun doing it but like you guys feel a lot of pressure to be like Oh, you're gonna make a joke, and then you know, yeah, yeah, Brad, what you said, and then you said, but, 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 then... but, like, you do know that like, there's like the times where we don't, like, you do, like, like, look, especially that's, what, that's you... what I mean. It's like the pressure of, like, I hope, I hope this is where you're going with that. Is that that you feel the pressure of, like, when you, if, like, if you guys aren't making the jokes, then it's silent. Yeah. So then you feel like, fuck, I have to make sure to make a joke. But at the same time, like, I notice, like, this is, this is a small thing, but I notice, like, sometimes when I say stuff, like, I, I was actually saying stuff. In the last episode, like you'll, you, I don't know if you like you'll watch it in the Bloodborne one, okay. where like I actually start saying stuff in the middle, and then you guys like completely ignored me and then keep doing your. Were you like, talking very like quietly or something? I don't know. No, like I, it, it's literally like, maybe you're gonna you're when you watch it you're gonna say it's because I was talking quietly. Okay. But I clearly, it was even like in a break, between where you guys had a pause, and I like said something, uh -huh. and then you got Playland, da, 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 <laughs> and I'm like. Okay, I guess we'll just you know what I mean it's kind of like it could have been like handed off and we could have went with something yes. else, but then we just kept going with whatever you guys kept going back and forth with saying. Um, but that's that's a side thing. That's not a big deal. I mean, but like, but like you, you so, like you, you do know where like me and Zach come from, though, right? Like it's like like every single time, and I mean like I know I know in for you and Sam it might be that like you're like oh well like Brat and Zach are just gonna keep running their mouths, so like we'll just keep quiet and just play the game kind of thing. Right, and so it's it's this, and then other it's either that or you guys keep doing your bit and me like and me trying to cut you off to get in. It's and then it's gonna sound terrible in, in in like post because it's gonna be like us talk con con constantly like trying to talk over you, and then that's where it's kind of like okay, well I won't now. So 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 this is the problem then. It's you guys feel like fuck we can't get a word in, and we're like fuck if we stop they're not gonna get a word out, and so it's just like when we do stop. And you just have to be very like, when while you're doing your bit, very conscious. Of just be very conscious of like we'll cut in at any time and let open the like yeah, yeah. whatever. But like, you doesn't doesn't mean you have to stop. It just means like as soon as I make a noise, or whatever, you stop talking yeah. right away, and then whatever. Like that's that's one. We got thing. and that's and that's something that we can work on. Like like, um, like where we get better. Where like you know you make not <laughs> you make a noise like like you don't fucking make a dolphin call. And we're like oh shit, Kurt has something to say. Yeah. But like you know you go like actually and you put your hand up and we're like whoa shit like you know Kurt like fucking like. Kurt has something to say, but like you know, if like if me and him are going on about Postrum and Playland and all that stupid shit, which all, we which we should you know not be doing, but like if you were to just be like if say like Sims beside you and you're like actually like you know in the game like blah 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 blah, blah and like you're talking at like whatever, like if you don't catch our attention, it's where I guess you are right, you are right, it's not I guess you are right, it's me and Zach are in the 
fucking crack jokes until Sim's ready for his fucking one-liner. And then Kurt has, like, a fun fact. Like, you know, like... I also think that where I was going with that, too, though, is that we don't need to be... It doesn't need to be, like, high energy all the time. Like, hold on, just check if we're still recording. It is, it is, it is. Um, it doesn't have to be high energy all the fucking time because that's that's how like we think it has to be because that's where the funniest stuff has come out of so we think but sometimes it can just be like we're just chilling playing the game and so I'm like wouldn't it be funny if like uh, and people are like oh, yeah that's kind of funny I'm like yeah imagine he like no 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 like that tone exactly is fine like it doesn't have to be like like because you and Zach are like really like it's almost like sometimes cringy at least when I'm sitting there like hearing the like it's so like you're trying so hard to be like really energetic and really like like you know like um, but here's the here's the funny two two really funny like, things it about works that. sometimes but like sometimes like it, like I'm saying like all like everything works no, 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 no. if it's done right yeah no, but, no no like like you totally have a point but it's really funny because <laughs> two things it's because when when we're like that and we're just like fucking just throwing shit, it's a me and him genuinely get a kick out of it. It is cr- like it is cringy. Like even watching it in the in post, like we're just like going at it. But then eventually, me and him just start dying of laughter because of the stupid shit that we're saying. And second, people that watch our sh- like the episode will never know that. Like like they never see the behind the scenes. They just think that it's all like perfect jokes. I'm like, do you know what I mean? Like 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 like, what do you mean? I, I just don't agree like that like it's kind of like it goes back to like again sometimes yes sometimes no like if it's done right yes sometimes not right like it's kind of like now I'm going on a tangent just for the example but like Louis CK will test all his jokes like I don't know if you've ever heard of like heard him do a show not at it on a special like I heard one where he did one like in some town that didn't really matter and like some of the jokes he made like no laughs because they're like ooh Every, like, everybody's kind of like, oh, that was a little too far, right? So he's gauged the audience mm-hmm. so that when he does do a special, like I heard the exact same thing that he said in the special, but without those, without those ones that um, didn't go over very well, right? Because I was like, oh, hey, that's that same, like so when I heard it after in that other one, like, hey, it's that same bit. And then he drops, like, in, within the bit, he gives, he adds that little part where you're like, oh, okay, yeah, that, that was a little too far. Um... So no, no, but I, so, I meant, no, no, hold on, hold on. That was just a tangent. I didn't even get to what I was gonna say. With um, is that like with you guys trying to be such high energy and all that shit? Sometimes it's like yes, sometimes that is funny, and like you said, like it's it it turns out really funny because it's like 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 uh, the one where Zach's like laughing hysterically yeah. or whatever. Like so, certain times, like it'll work really well. Mm-hmm. But sometimes it, it goes back to like what Goosh was saying is like, yeah, it looks like you guys are having a good time. That's all I meant. But, it's cringy as fuck. But no, like, okay, so let me finish. Okay. It's like, it looks like you guys are having a good time, but like, oddly, like a lot of times, like there'll be a significant amount of times where like, just because it looks like you guys are having a good time doesn't make it entertaining for me. Sometimes it'll almost be like, it, it feels almost like, let's say you walk into a bar and there's a group of people laughing really hard. That doesn't make me laugh really hard because I'm not part of their group of people. I no, just no, I, I just hear them laughing really loud. So sometimes it'll come across as that, like in the, when you watch the videos, you guys are like, we're all laughing really hard, but you're kind of like, okay, like they're having a time, but I don't really know why I'm watching. So so that's that's so I, I never like was like oh it's funny. I'm just saying it's like like all the cringy parts that you were talking about. It's funny that like people will never get to see that. Yeah, yeah. I know, I know. You said it gets, that. Yeah, it gets, it all gets cut out. So when what we're, whatever we do, people like Saadi and Goosh and everyone just watch it. They're like, yeah, you just sit on a chair and you guys are all having a great time and blah 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 blah. And it's like, but that doesn't mean it's entertaining. It's not, no, no, it's not, it's not. Value but like what you're, what, what you're saying to me now, no one will like, like, and it's because we cut it. Like it all gets chopped on the cutting board. It's like all that cringiness. Like if these people saw, they'd be like, oh, this is, this is brutal. <laughs> But like they never see that they like from the hour they get like a five minute product, and it's just like oh these guys are like fucking like I'm not like I'm not laughing but like these guys seem like they're having a great time. But a little do they know like you just had to put up with this for like one hour of just like me and Zach going yeah and and another thing and then you're just like oh fuck these guys right like it just I just that was a side note I just find it really funny. Oh yeah. Anyways, um, till next time. <laughs>
Yeah. I mean, we could keep it running and cut out the other stuff. Like, cut out the in the middle parts. Yeah. So it's more candid. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. Turn off now. You want to just 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 turn off now.